jokes to the side, nigga know that they ain't fucking with the flow I provide. Yo. It's been a lot of female women's Jordans, however you want to say it, females, women's, but today we had a special release and we've seen a lot of releases like this this year. A lot of guys have been pissed off because their feet are too big, no homo and they cannot fit the shoes. In today's video, we're gonna be going over the Mushroom Air Jordan 4, as well as looking at a couple other releases that have already dropped. And I think that all the releases are fuego, y'all. Ain't none of them nine to me, all of them gas. So if you guys are new to the channel, make sure you guys hit that subscribe button, ring that notification bell, join your water retro whiz kid, and this thing that fans. All love and support is greatly appreciated. It's not going notice. Let's try to get this video up to 100 likes. Splat that thing and whatever it is you do, just make sure you do what you do at your best. Because at the end of the day, that's all that matters is that you gave your best. And drop a comment down below and let me know what you guys think about the kicks. Let's get straight to it. Yay! One of the highly anticipated Jordans that came out this year would be the Blue Chills. Following up the Blue Chills, we did see the men's pair come out recently. And I honestly will still say that I feel like the Blue Chills are better. This blue chill was a woman's exclusive the next shoe that i would say that was highly anticipated when it comes to the women's release would be the satin black toes this was a must have if you are a ten and a half in men's and below you picked up this shoe and if you didn't you sleep now we did get the reptile 12s but it wasn't as height i would say as the last two shoes that I showed you. Now today's shoe that released was the Mushroom 4s and I must say, Fuego. Coming in, you guys can see the box right here. Box presentation, it gives you sort of how you got the numbered pair of the wings. The wings came in this dope white box with the gold jump man. Only difference is you did have like the gold ring around the shoe and everything as well as a dust cover. This pair did not come like that. But I will let you guys see what it is looking like. This is the Women's Air Jordan 4 Mushroom Multicolor Black. And right here, you guys can see this is not in your boy size. Shout out to my bro, The Vintage World. He's actually sitting right here beside me in this area, in this vicinity. Shout out to Orange. You know what I'm saying? Go watch this video if you want to know what Orange is. You do have the 23 on the paper, just like you do in all the other retros. And you have an extra set of the white paper as well. And right here, bada bing, bada boom. There they go, y'all. Let's get these things about to pop. And we in there. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Now, we're not going to smell test approve these because my boy has already worn the shoes. And I think that would be kind of weird to smell test the shoes. But I will give you guys a fuego. And I'm talking about fire flame so we're gonna go ahead and get a good look at the shoes off rip just feeling them texture hey why they be doing this man like why why you make the woman's shoes and the men's shoes different i know y'all seen the boondocks these is booty butt cheeks like for real booty butt cheeks hey so starting off with the bottom of the shoe you guys can see we have that black you have a white and you have a sale color right here with the black jump man pods on the bottom of the shoe as well. And on the midsole, you guys can see we have that, that sale going in right there, as well as a white sale right there going along the middle, as well as black going along both the upper and the bottom of the shoe. I think that is actually fuego. The whole upper of the shoe has this, this nice stroke, y'all. Look at this thing, man. This thing is soft, man. That thing is really, really soft. And I must say, kudos to Jordan brand for doing this because it's crazy because a lot of men cannot fit this shoe so if you are a 10 and a half you're able to pick them up resale value is not going for stupid crazy right now not over no 300 dollars but i do expect the resale value of this shoe to climb so on the whole upper of the shoe you guys can see you do have that nice I call that thing coffee, man. This is like that coffee. That coffee with that creamer, y'all. That's exactly what the mix of the color looks like. It looks just like coffee mixed with creamer. You have the netting on the inner and the outer panel of the shoe as well as going up the tongue. And you have that black background on it. Nice 
laces it is what we've been seeing with the female shoes we have been seeing these laces it's nothing new the laces have not changed now one thing that i would have expected them to do is probably put some tips on the shoe pause i would have liked to see maybe like a gold aglet as people would say because people get mad when i don't say aglet i just call them tips man pause i call them tips there's no reason to there's no reason to give it like a, a, a definition type name you know what i'm saying so right here when you're looking at the jump man the jump man kind of reminds you of the all-star ones and you can see it right there it has that crazy greenish purple color on the jump man and the jump man on the tongue is the same as the jump man on the back i think that that is very fuego all in all this shoe is actually gas to me y'all i am mad that i actually missed this shoe because man i've been working y'all i've been working and today i was working i totally forgot about this shoe if the vintage had said nothing about this shoe i wouldn't have known or remembered i won't say known i'll say i wouldn't have remembered that this shoe came out but we have the mushroom fours y'all very dope shoe dope silhouette with a dope color on it everybody knows that there is a lot of history when it comes to air jordan 4s they did come out with a one that looks like this i do believe do not quote me but i believe it is a mid and a hey, fuego y'all these are gash so let me know today if you guys pick these things up retail was 190 dollars on these things but of course you know my bro got these things for under retail and for this to be 190 dollars for a woman's shoe y'all see where they going y'all see where they going where they fluctuating with the prices for what something might be for a man now they're giving the females the same price for the original men's general release shoe so that is crazy to me i hope you guys understood what i just said right there but very dope shoe very good quality on the shoe i'm gonna give you guys a nice little look at the shoe again let me know if you guys pick these things up if you guys want to see a very 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 fuego on foot head over there to the vintage world and watch that on foot he did it with a combination of jeans he gave you regular jeans he gave you black jeans he showed you a lot of a lot of good heat right there I'm glad my bro let me check these things out let me know if you guys pick these things up if you guys couldn't fit them hey i'm sorry for y'all i know like shout out to my bro steve freeman he wanted these but they didn't come in his size but it'd be like that sometimes when it come to jordan so it is your boy the retro whiz kid i love you guys i hope you guys continue to rock out with your boy if you want to catch me on call of duty modern warfare beta make sure you guys hit me in my dm on instagram i will be doing some twitch videos twitching the game hey your boy dropped a 38 piece earlier on the game man i was like ooh. Yeah, don't stop me, don't stop me. Y'all see that orange box back there? That's an orange box. That's an orange box. Shout out to the finish. But I love y'all. I'll catch you guys tomorrow in the next video. We are going to spin some pictures for you guys. Get it!